do you know me now? Yes! Over the last four years, I have not stopped walking the ground in Mountbatten. My desire today to serve you has only deepened and grown more intense and more urgent. Now before MPs were paid the huge paychecks that they now draw, there was a man who held public office for three decades, serving Singaporeans with a passionate heart. His name is Chan Si Tong! Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Chiang is an inspiration to me and to all of us. For 23 years, Mr. Chiang ran the Potong Pase Town Council yes. successfully and without a hitch. Yes. The Singapore People's Party has a track record of relying more on its resourcefulness than on its resources. Under Mr. Chum's capable hands, the accounts of Potong Pase Town Council were always clean and always in surplus. Yes, good. This is solid proof of his efficient and effective stewardship of town council funds. Recently, the PAP government has made it their national agenda to cast doubts on the ability of opposition parties to run a town council successfully. As far as SPP is concerned, that is a myth. With the SPP's backing, my team and I are more than confident of running Mountbatten Town Council. This will be my first call of duty and the first order of my business. But the role of an MP goes beyond competent estate management. Being an MP is one of the highest, if not the highest, calling in public service. Parliament decides on laws and policies which affect us all. And given that the PAP has an overwhelming majority in Parliament, it's important that decisions are properly debated and well considered before they are implemented. implemented. Now the PAP government says that all is well, the machinery is humming, and the future in their hands is bright. But is it really so? Oh. As you and I know, there are widening gaps in our society, which, if left unchecked, will affect our future and our children's future. There's a widening gap between the haves and the have-nots in our society. And not enough is being done to arrest income inequality. There is a gap between the aspirations of Singaporeans and the reality of poor social mobility. And not enough is being done to address the rising cost of living. There are gaps between the good intentions behind government policies and the reality of people falling between the cracks. But these are symptoms of a deeper problem. There is a gap between the accountability we are given and the transparency we deserve. Mr. Go Chong Tong recently said, the PAP is his own check. Is that possible? No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
it is a very dangerous idea and a very undemocratic one. The government talks about fiscal responsibility, but just two months ago, the Auditor General released a report showing troubling lapses across several government ministries and agencies. The most disturbing concerns the People's Association. 35 of their committees were found to have approved tenancy contracts worth some 17.78 million dollars without proper approval. The People's Association is an organ heavily funded by taxpayers' money. How much? One billion Singapore dollars this year. Oh. Friends, whose money is it? Ours. Who is going to call on the government to assure us that the financial lapses are not endemic? Who is going to remind the government of its duty to ensure that taxpayers' money is responsibly and wisely spent? When the Auditor General's report came out, what did the PAP minister say? Nothing! Nothing. Nothing. The PAP MPs are mice when talking about the accounting lapses flagged by the Auditor General. But they crow like roosters! at the shortcomings of the Arjuni Town Council. <laughs> when our brothers and sisters from the Workers' Party were being bullied by the PAP, it was Mrs. Lina Chiang who drew the nation's attention to the failings of our government ministries and agencies by raising questions in Parliament about the way taxpayers' money was being used. Yes. Right. This is good. What will we do without Mrs. Chang? Do you want Parliament to be a rubber stamp? No! We cannot afford to let Parliament write the government blank checks. This is irresponsible. Yes. We need to close the gap between what our government is delivering and what we deserve. We need to close the gap between what the prom government promises and what it delivers by holding it accountable and keeping it transparent. Yeah. The PAP has an overwhelming majority in parliament. So, do we need another person to vote yes to the PAP's policies? No! <laughs> Do we need another PAP backbencher in Parliament to vote for 6.9 million white paper? No! Do we need another PAP backbencher to okay public transport fare hikes? No! Do we need another PAP backbencher in Parliament to attack the Arjunic MPs? No! No matter how much he wants to, my opponent cannot always speak for you because he has to toe the party line. Yeah. Look around you. Look around the constituency. You will see Mr. Lee Sian Long's face everywhere. Yes. 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 <laughs> no fair. Regardless of how good Mr. Lim's intentions are, who does he answer to? He answers to Mr. Lee Sian Long. But I can speak out for you. Yes, go to the day. You can count on me to support policies that are good for the people and to challenge policies that do not work for Singaporeans. Mr Lim takes pride in pointing out how he has made physical improvements to the constituency. 
Mr. Lim really shouldn't make a virtue out of necessity. It is his job to ensure the constituency is maintained. An MP has to do more, much more than maintenance, upgrading and providing covered walkways. There is a gap between what your MP is doing and what your MP should be doing. Sure. There is a gap between the progress we aspire to and the livability of our homes. I want to make Mountbatten a home for the heart and not just a place to stay. Mr. Lin thinks that the government has the solutions to all our community's problems. On the contrary, I believe that the community is the solution and that residents have to be in the driver's seat. Take Dakota Crescent as an example. Mr. Lin told the media, those who like the heritage mostly don't live here. Well, what I hear from residents is quite different. Mountbatten residents have told me they care about Dakota Crescent and they don't want it to disappear. Yeah. 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 Right. Clearly, Mr. Lim hasn't been talking to the residents of Mountbatten. Yes. Dakota Crescent is a piece of our local heritage that Mountbatten is right to be proud of. Mr. Lim also told the media that the fate of Dakota Crescent is to be decided by conservation experts and the state. I beg to defer. It is you, the residents, who should have the first say and be consulted as to what should be done about their local heritage. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. You, the residents of Mountbatten, should play a role in deciding the fate of Dakota Crescent. Yes. In front of you, you can see the fruits of a collaboration my campaign has done with local artists who have sketched and photographed Dakota Crescent. This is a concrete expression of what community spirit means. It means that those with the greatest stake in the community's future take charge of the community's development. I will run the constituency the way I've run my campaign. Energetically, enthusiastically, creatively, and tirelessly. My opponent has done a decent job tending to the hardware of the constituency. But the role of an MP isn't just to be a glorified estate manager. The real value of an MP is to lead, to bond, to inspire and to fight for the residents of the constituency. And I am up for the task. Let me close the gap between the old mindsets we're stuck in and the community we want to build. Singapore is an exceptional country because of strong first generation leaders, leaders who were visionaries. Can you imagine what Mountbatten could be like if your leader is more than just an estate manager? And so I ask this of you, if you would give me the honor, I will not just manage Mountbatten. I will inspire and lead you to a reimagined Mountbatten. Yeah.
Now I have spoken of the various gaps I want to close, but there's one last gap to be closed which I can't do without your help. Yes. In GE 2011, I polled 41.4% against Lin Biao Chuan. This, there's just this gap to be closed in order for me to enter parliament. I ask that you help me close the gap to cross the 50% mark. Yes. 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 Let me speak up for you because my opponent sometimes cannot speak for fear of the party whip. Let me stand up for you to fight for your rights because our leaders sometimes do not hear our voices. Mountbatten voters come polling day, vote for me. I will be your tireless MP in Mountbatten and your fearless fighter in Parliament! I am so glad I'm not her opponent. I'll be flat on the floor in no time. Now, you see on stage, okay, good. history that had been made. We have Mr. and Mrs. Chiang here, and Mrs. Linia Chiang, one of the NCMPs who dared to ask questions, even though the NCMP scheme